What is up guys? Hope y'all are having a great day today. So this is going to be my second episode to my new How to Build series on Ark Survival Evolved. In the first episode, if you did not watch it, please go back and watch it. We did Lava Cave on Valgaro. Now we're doing Clemens Rat Hole in the Snow Biome of Valgaro. Okay, so we're going to start off with the spam first. Spam is a very vital and important key to every base. You need to have a lot of spam and even OCD spam makes your base look fresh clean and just organized and as you can see we have or well I have some OCD spam but moving up to the cliff plots if you have cliff plots they will take out like around 25 c4 to drop each one which is a lot of c4 to some tribes and it would just waste a lot of their resources for trying to drop their drop your spam moving up the hill a little bit right here a tree yes it's a pretty nice tree you want to have a tree platform thing, tree cliff platform, I don't know what they are called exactly. And you want to spam that off with one or two, how many you can have, put some spikes over it to make it look good. Because if a uh, enemy gets this and puts it on, it, it will be quite annoying to drop because they can build kind of a chandelier and a fob up there. And they could even snipe your tames or just camp there, wait for you to come out and then chase you. It would be very annoying, so just make sure you spam that off. Now we are leading down to the dino gates. Dino gates right here with spikes play an important role because a lot of people like to just camp and sit up here and be annoying. Um, this this spam will just push people away and make them have to make it take longer for them to fob up because they have to clear all this. And these turrets are inside inside here will make it even harder for them to clear it. So they will have to soak and then they will be able to clear it. Moving into the main base spot, quote unquote cave. So right here we have turrets as you can see to stop them from just sitting there if they drop the tower. But if they do drop the tower, please make sure you most likely will have a transmitter. So if they drop that tower, you better be ready to leave with all your loot. But as we push in, you see a small wall. This small wall plays a very important role in this base spot. You could switch the tech turret layout and heavy turret layout and replace it. Have a tech turret facing in there. Because the tech turrets will most likely shoot and push people out of the cave. So as long as you have a tech turret there, it will be almost impossible for people to come in. Alright, moving to the crafting station. Tech force field. That would be very smart to have on if you are, uh, you know, defending. Because I can see, okay, I'm going to keep turning that light on. We have vault drop. You cannot vault drop the door, obviously. So having that tech force field will make it hard for them to just break through that. Alright, anyways, back to the crowding station. I can see whoever can bench here to make cementing paste, spark powder, um, and gunpowder to supply your turrets with ammunition. Over here, you will have fabricators and smithies. Smithies to repair flak, fabricators to just make extra uh, ammo, guns, repairing more stuff. Alright, moving up here. You, If you build it exactly like mine, you will have to crouch up here because it, they're not like I said there's not much room because it's a very small spot so you will have to try to fit the transmitter somewhere this is the only place I can fit it but as you can see you can access it turn it on and off same with Indie Forge access it turn it off and on you can still use everything as you can see so we have some vault storage up here just so you know put extra BP the extra flak, extra ammunition, raid defense stuff. And right here, you can see fridges to uh, you know, put your med brews, cakes and narcotics or stimulants, whatever you need to put in there. And right here, crowd fridges for dino storage. And I would get right up here, the main part in the base that will most likely help you, the tech jenny and the replicator. I can see, obviously you can access the replicator and turn it on and off. The replicator will help you, you know, craft and you can basically craft anything in the game with using the replicator, which, you know, that's quite nice. But I, that's it for this video. I'm going to be trying to upload more frequently, like I said in a video or two ago. So if you want to see more of these, please tell me in the comments what spot I should do next. I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to, um, like, subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss a video, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.